What's up, dude?
Welcome back. Hmm, a shadow in the middle of town. It managed to take over public transportation. I should investigate whether this means it's finally begun. Monorail. Listen to the monorail in Monoro. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I must make a note of that one. Luck played an uncomfortably large part in the victory, especially towards the end. If he hadn't guessed at the right controls, things could have been very bad. For Shadows to work in a group to overrun large machines is unprecedented. The engine. That was an ingenious move. <laughs> What's with me today? I'm on a roll. Oh yeah, better write that one down too. One should always wear bright clothing at night. Otherwise, the shadows could make it dangerous to walk near traffic. Whoa, I'm getting a little off subject, but who cares? Hey, I should write all these down and show them off the next time everyone gets together. Hmm. Don't care for seafood? They also serve ground beef. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the status report anymore, but I'm having a blast. Let's see, what else?
What's up, dude? What's up, dude?
Where have you been? Welcome back.
world. Congrats, man. I need to catch up on my training. I've slacked off for a whole month. Shouldn't you take it easy, though? You don't want to re-injure your arm. I've already wasted precious time. Besides, we found another Persona user. We did? Sweet! Is it a girl? Actually, it is. She's a junior who goes to our school. Fuka Yamagishi. Do you guys know her? Yamagishi? Oh, that girl in 2E. She gets sick a lot from what I heard. I don't see her at school very often. She was at the same hospital as me. That's how we found out about her. But maybe she's not cut out for battle. I had an evoker made for her, too. What? We're giving up on her already? I was gonna offer her some private lessons. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Come on! I'm a guy! What'd you expect? I'm afraid you'll have to defeat it to proceed. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Attack again! Alright, good job! Yes! The enemy All is right, vulnerable. Good job. Attack! You attacked the enemy's weak spot. Here's our chance for an all up If you say so. This is not good. Prepare to be attacked. The enemy has recovered. You attacked the enemy's one more. You struck the enemy's weak point. Yes, the enemy is vulnerable. Here's our chance. If you say so. Prepare to be attacked. The enemy has recovered. The enemy's already recovered. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep right, going. Good job. Yes, the enemy nice. is vulnerable. Attack. A wisely chosen attack. I've been waiting for this. Well, I guess that's one way to go. This is not good. The enemy has recovered. The enemy has recovered. Attack again! One more! You attacked the enemy's weak One more. point! You exploited the enemy's weak point! Here's our chance for an all-out attack! Ready, Adam! You have the potential to grow even stronger!
Where have you been? Where have you been?
Where have you been? Welcome back. So 
Pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. And she freaked out and started crying. <laughs> like it was the end of the world. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Oh my god! I have never laughed so hard in all my life! They're making fun of someone? Don't they have anything better to do? Huh? Where's that voice coming from? What voice? I don't hear anything. What's wrong, Maki? Maki! Uh, uh-huh. Are you okay? Sorry. What were we talking about? I can't stand girls like that.
Welcome back. Its arcana is the Empress. It's a guardian, so it'll be a difficult fight. Roger. I'll right. attempt to analyze the enemy. My turn. I've been waiting for this. Okay, now! Won't die. Hang in there. My turn. I couldn't finish it off. Take that. I couldn't finish it off. Can you believe these people? So, did you hear the details? Well, a girl from 2E went missing last night. This morning, they found her lying on the ground in front of the school gate. Nobody knows what happened, and supposedly, she's still unconscious. Yo, Yucatan. This is a tough case, even for Junpei Iori, Ace Detective. Ace Detective? Are you stupid or something? More like stupe Ace Defective. Hey, I resent that. Anyway, where have you been? 
was talking to the teacher. That girl they found? I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed okay then. Whoa. Now that's really strange.
Yucatan. Have you seen the posts on the student message board? You know how last week that girl was found by the front gate? Well, there's this rumor that it was an angry spirit from this one ghost story. Hey, come on. Nobody believes that stuff. Right? So, what is this ghost story about? What? It's probably made up, so why bother? I'm interested. Go ahead and tell us. Uh... Good evening. Welcome to Junpei's Believe It or Don't. There are many strange things in this world. According to one story, if you get caught at school late at night, you'll be devoured by a maniacal ghost that roams the halls! The other day, this friend of mine, let's call him Shu, he said to me, Junpei, I saw something strange. He sounded serious, so I asked him what he'd seen. He said it was about the girl in 2E. He claims he saw her go into the school on the night of the incident. I couldn't believe it. She's not the kind of girl to be out at night. But Shu was as white as a sheet. He insisted it was true. Then it hit me. That ghost must have tried to make her its dinner. And that's why they found her lying on the ground by the gate. I felt a chill run down my spine, and I broke into a cold sweat. Yes, there are strange things in this world. Believe it or don't. What do you think, Akihiko? I think it's worth investigating. Wow, I didn't know you were afraid of ghosts, Yucatan. That's kind of funny. Hey, watch it! Fine, then let's investigate. We'll each ask around for the rest of the week. I'll prove to you that this ghost story is just an urban legend. I appreciate that. The story is a bit unnerving. <laughs> then I'll let you guys handle it. Just make sure you sleep with one eye open. I came to see you again, as I promised. How are you? I'm glad you remembered me. Now, in another week, the moon will be full again. And the next ordeal will be upon you. So be careful. I'll come again.
did.
Where have you been? Today's Friday. Did you two ask around like we said? Huh? We have something planned for today? I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Man, you have such a short temper. Then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am. As we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course, I got lots of good info. It turns out, no angry ghost was involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? <laughs> First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. Since the girl was found on school grounds, there's at least one similarity to the ghost story. But, why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? Correct! But yeah, I was surprised when I found out the reason. Over the next few days, there were two more similar incidents. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people were talking. Next, the victims are in different classes and they don't seem to be connected. However, they did have one thing in common. What was it? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? Yep. 
That's right! Not just once or twice, either. They got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. It can't be just a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're going to do some field research. Field research? Are you kidding? Yeah, there's this one place where the three victims were regulars. Wait, you're not talking about that place behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you're familiar with it. You can't go there. I've heard some nasty rumors about that place. Is that so? Well, then we should all go together. You'll come, right? <laughs> Thanks. Forget it. That place is bad news. I mean, don't you think we're getting in over our heads? Up until now, all we've done is take orders. Does that feel right to you? I know what you mean, but... Man, did you have to say it like that? <sighs> Guess I don't have a choice, do I? Okay, we'll go tomorrow night then. Let's get going. What's your hurry? I still think this is a bad idea. How could you be afraid of ghosts, but not be scared of this? It's easy to get freaked out by something you can't see, don't you think? Actually, I'm more worried about things I can see, like bats and knives. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, it'll be an adventure. More like a suicide mission. Check out those rags, they're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is worse than I thought. Hey you, I think you're in the wrong place. Uh, well I... You don't belong here, get it? Beat it, goatee! Uh, goatee? Oh, you, you mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey, are you nuts? Take a look around you! I'm not blind, you know. Come on, don't be intimidated by these scum. What was that? She just called us scum. Let's get him. Who cares where they're from? <laughs> we'll post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. She'll wish she was never born. <laughs> oh, that's so clever. <laughs> These guys are the worst. You ought to learn to shut that trap of yours. Man, I feel sorry for you, goatee. This 
bitch is a pain in the ass. Huh? <laughs> Do pay. Hey, pretty boy, I don't like your face either. Got anything to say before I beat it to a bloody pulp? That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. All right? Who do you think you are, dumbass? You want some too? Huh. Do I have a choice? That's it, you're going down! Damn you, Shinjiro! That's right. You're from Gecko High too, aren't you? I thought you were one of us. What gave you that idea? I don't remember swearing a blood oath. You son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive? Sure do. Wanna give it a try? Ugh. Uh, screw this! <laughs> what a loser! You better grow eyes in the back of your head! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! You idiots! Get out of here! This place isn't for you! Wait! We came here for a reason. You guys, you were at the hospital. Did Aki tell you to come here? Hmm. <laughs> what do you want to know? About that ghost story? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? It's a rumor. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. About all the things they'd done to some girl named Fuka. Fuka? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Fuka's spirit that did it. I hear it's all over the net, too. Fuka's spirit? Wait, what do you mean by that? You guys don't know? This Fuka girl might be dead. She hasn't been home in over a week. Don't you guys go to school? How do you not know this? Are you serious? I thought she was out sick. But she's missing? So much for the ghost story. Mystery Koda is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. Still trying to make up for the past. It's you who can't let go. Nothing. That's all I know. Satisfied? Yeah! Thanks, Senpai! Come on! Show some appreciation! Thanks, you totally helped us out. You're very kind. Huh? I, uh, never mind. Don't come here again.
Mitsuru Senpai, why are you here? Same reason as you. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! I... I never thought it'd turn out like this! Fuka... Wait, you're that girl! What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Mitsuru. This isn't an interrogation. Matsuki, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. And then... I realized... She's an honor student, but deep inside, she's just the same as us. I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her that day, too. May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. What? You locked her in? That night, Maki returned to school alone. She was afraid we'd get in trouble if Fuka committed suicide. But she never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying on the ground by the gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us went missing. And they each ended up like Maki. I see. By the way, Mr. Ikoda, all this time you've attributed Yamagishi's absences to illness. But in reality, she was missing. You must have been aware of that. What was your intention? I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. You mean you chose not to report this to the police for the good of the class? It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agree. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. How despicable. I... I, I didn't. I... I was just... Uh... 
about your friends. Did you notice anything unusual before the incidents? Anything at all? <laughs> they all heard a voice. A creepy voice. Right before each of them went missing. They said it was calling their name. Oh, man. Oh, senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Until now, there was no way of knowing how or why some people are conscious during the dark hour. But it's the voice. It draws them in. It's not a random phenomenon. This whole thing has made me realize they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. It's the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave the room, no matter what. If you can do that much, you should be okay. Don't worry, Yamagishi should be alright as well. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. T tonight We're going to rescue Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. All set. Tonight, we will infiltrate the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Um, I don't get it. Is Fuka inside the school somewhere? And why at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Then, ever since Fuka got locked in the gym, she's been stuck there? But that was ten days ago. That means... Not necessarily. We can't jump to conclusions. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So what about the rest of the day? Now that you mention it... This is only a theory, but I think time may function differently with respect to Tartarus. So, even though it's been ten days for us, perhaps only ten hours have passed for her. It's possible she's still alive. Wow, you think so? Uh, but the dark hour is pretty brutal. We could barely handle an hour. How's she gonna last ten? That's true. And even if she's still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna let her die then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus exactly how Fuka did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That's the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? Honestly, I have reservations. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus, too. But... I won't stand by and do nothing if there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. If you guys don't want to go, then I'll go by myself. Senpai? All right. We're aware of the risks, but we can't just leave her there. I agree. And we won't know until we try. Cool. We get to sneak into the school. <laughs> In that case, I know just what to do.
Hmm. What's wrong? I can't get a hold of the chairman. I guess we can handle it ourselves. There's one problem, though. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set to go. Set to go? An explosive? All right, I'll let you handle this. We don't have time to waste. Let's go. An explosive? For real? Nah. All I did was unlock a door. See, we got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is that really something to brag about? So you unlocked it earlier, Trevia? No time for compliments. Let's go. What's the big deal, anyway? Trey Ben, what's that mean? That's not English, is it? Can we turn on the lights? Oh, you scared? No! Stupe. Stop calling me that! Quiet. It's better if we leave them off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gem. Akihiko and I will check the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway. Got it? The faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? If so, then expect to be severely punished. It was a joke! I'd never do something like that. <laughs> Come on, Mitsuru. Lighten up a little. Fine. Let's head over to the janitor's room. Iori, you're coming with us.
All right, let's get this over with. Do you hear that? Th there's someone else here? Just a security guard. I know. Ah! My cell phone? Why now? Oh, figures. It's spam. Ugh, sorry about that. It took me by surprise. No, no, it's so dark. I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. Mind if we borrow this? Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet them in the main hallway. Did you find a key? Sure did! You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. What? <laughs> you actually did? I was just kidding! You wanna make something of it? Keep it down! We'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour has begun, I'll determine Yamagishi's position. I'll go. You should come too. You can take the lead, like always. Um, then I'll be the third. Wait a second. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei. We'll give you another shot. Sweet! Thanks! What's wrong, Yukari? You don't want to stay behind with Mitsuru? Um... No, it's fine. It's almost time.
have to go. Tell her I'm sorry. Fuka. Um. We still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver's sensitivity is set to high, too. Oh yeah, that girl, Natsuki? I hope she's okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't possibly bring her here, and one of us staying behind was out of the question. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. <clears throat> but we're all here for Fuka's sake. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Is he out of range? I'm starting to get worried. the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Don't worry. You'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay then. I hope we can speak again. Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh yeah, did you hear a voice while you were in here? Uh, kinda like... Who is this? Are you human? 
That's it! That's the voice! It sounded like it came from behind us. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Wow! You're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, June pays here! I'm glad you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. Where are we? I was at school, and then... Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? <sighs> no good. All I hear is static. Oh yeah, are, are you hurt? Have you uh, run into any monsters? So there are strange creatures in here then. I've managed to avoid them so far. Are you serious? How's that possible? Um, it, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you psychic? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Maybe even stronger. Since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Hang on to this. <gasps> but... but this is... Think of it as a lucky charm. It's not really a gun. Alright, let's get out of here. Whoa! Check out the moon! I've never seen it so bright. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Of course, the same can be said for humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Was it? I think so. Why? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked, back in April? Mitsuru, are you there? Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful! Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is this thing? It's much bigger than the others, and it's attacking someone! Damn it! What's going on? It's one of them! If my guess is right, they come every full moon. We have to hurry! Hey, hey! Wait for me! What in the world? There's two of them! Mitsuru! Uh-huh. Uh. What's going on? Nothing's working! Oh shit! They look pissed! Hey! Isn't that... Why the hell is she here? F fuka More Yamasan? Wait, what are you doing? Please get out of here! It's dangerous! I. I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. <gasps> Wait, that's not a weapon! 
I know. Mitsuru! I'm all right. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. And all of our instruments have been destroyed. Just stay still. Besides... I can see. Is that the voice? I can, I can sense, sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. For real? <laughs> Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take your place. I get it now. Yamagishi, can you assist the others? I'll do my best! Stay back, Mitsuru. We'll take care of this. I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Okay, just give me the gun! We found the enemy's weakness! Awesome! The enemy is down! Here's a chance! Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a- Multiple we I I didn't know I had this kind of power. We found the enemy's weakness. I've been waiting for this. Okay, now. Don't worry, it's over. Fuka, you... Are you alright? Yeah. Thank goodness. Fuka? It's alright, she's just exhausted. Fuka? Fuka, I... Where did these two shadows come from? From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. I see. Um, 
What are we going to do about Natsuki? She saw the dark hour and the shadows. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. She should be safe from now on. But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? That doesn't seem fair. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fuka! I'm so sorry! I think she's learned her lesson. <laughs>